Rand Carthon here at 2023 Annual Meetings in Phoenix. It's good to see you, and it feels like another month on the job. This one may be a little bit busier than the previous months. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, three pro days leading to the week, three pro days, Daughters Theater Performance in San Jose, and now, you know, here, and then a pro day leave tomorrow, Chad and I. So it's, it's work time. I'll tell you what, it feels like every month you're maybe leveling up a little bit. Like you get a new set of challenges, new set of obstacles. Well, um, at Combine, Scott Pioli grabbed Chad and I. And just an antidote he got from Bill Parcells that says every day you're going to get about three to five things that you didn't plan for. So if you do the math and add those up, it's every, every month presents a new challenge. Tell me about Chad a little bit, working with him, bringing him into the fold. How helpful has that been to you? He's been extremely helpful. Um, you know, I, I joke with Chad. He's a unicorn. You know, he's done pro scouting. He's done college scouting. He's done salary cap. And now he's adding a new analytics component. And, you know, one person in the operation that doesn't get um, his just due and his credit for what he's added to the operation is Vin Marino. You know, the three of us were the odd couple, um, but it works. <laughs> you know, we... Um, have pointed discussions about contracts and how we can get things done and just the three of us all aligning and working together and then me knowing when to step out and let Chad and Vin do their thing and you know dwell in their area of expertise has been uh, it's been really helpful so Chad's done a great job Vin's done a great job it's just everything's been going well. Is that something you've had to learn how to navigate kind of when to step in when to pull back and let people do things or is that a management style that maybe you've already had? Oh uh, no it's that's who I am I know who I am and who I'm not and there's a level of conversation that starts and I'm like, all right, this is all over my head. So I will move and allow people to do what they do best. And uh, like I said, it works. You know, I can't remember who exactly um, we were talking broad scope contract. And, you know, I had some ideas. Hey, I think this is where we should come in. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm standing in front of Vin's screen and just... I said what I said, and I'm just standing there, and then those two just kind of shifted, and then they start their their breakdown of it, and I was just standing there. I was like, oh, this is my cue. Yep, <laughs> you that's know, no, no words exchanged, and I just walked out of the office <laughs> and let them do their work. <laughs> they start speaking a different language, and it's time to time Yeah, to it's dip. time to tap out. <laughs> so you mentioned that you've been going to some pro days. You've been doing different things. As you're evaluating players, and obviously you've been doing that for many years, but now that you're the general manager, does the lens shift a little bit? Do you evaluate in a different way because you have the bigger picture in your brain? I would say no, um, just because at the end of the day, it's all scouting, right? And in this role, it's really more about leadership, but at the core essence of it all, you know, you still want to be a good scout and you still want to get as much information as possible to make the best and most informed decision. So um, whenever you can, you'll, you'll talk to most GMs and that's the one thing that they wish they could do more of is scouting and watching the tape and, you know, going into the schools, uh, which the job doesn't allow for. So anytime you get those moments, you, you, you revel in it and you look forward to it. You've brought in a bunch of free agents to be new Tennessee Titans. Tell me about that group of guys that you brought in through the first kind of weeks of free agency. What do you like about this group? What stands out to you about this group? I think the the one thing that stands out about this group is they all have NFL starter ability. Um, they just haven't had the opportunity to be full-time starters. And hopefully they step into that um, with us. Um, but the one thing that stands out really about the group that I like the most is their versatility. You know, guys that can do multiple things, guys that can align in multiple places, uh, which gives us you know, a, a better opportunity to put the best game plan together, help us win some football games. Is the kaleidoscope starting to come into focus a little bit in terms of traits that make a Tennessee Titan, kind of specific things that you're looking for that fit this football team? Yeah, and see, yes, to answer the question, <laughs> but um, I'm in a unique position, right? You know, Coach Vrabel has the, the culture established here right? He embodies everything it means to be a Tennessee Titan. So it's not like we're trying to find that identity. That identity is already established. And me coming into this new role is learning what that identity is. That's a, uh, you know, you said something a couple different times that has stuck with me. And you say, we are not collecting talent. We're building a football team. And I've, I've probably referenced it five or six times just in talking about you because it's really struck me as almost counterintuitive 
in that you're not trying to build the monsters for a Space Jam reference. Um, you're trying to build a solid football team. Where does that philosophy come from? It's just, um, you know, being in, being in San Francisco, um, started there. Um, if you look what Kyle and John, you know, have built, there have been players on the board that some may have had rated over other guys that uh, that we have taken at the time. So um, it's all about fitting. I, I'll use this, right? So I always talk about it's, it's putting a puzzle together. You know, when you look at the box, you know what the end result should look like. But when you dump it on the table, it's just a bunch of pieces that you just got to ultimately fix and put um, put the puzzle together. And it doesn't help you if you got eight of the same piece, you know, because the, the picture can't be complete. So that's that's really what I mean. We're just putting a puzzle together so we know what the end picture lo should look like. Is that something that's a little counterintuitive, though? Because sometimes it's very compelling to say, I've got eight of these pieces and they're very shiny and very pretty. Um, but that doesn't always mean it's the best fit for the overall picture. Right. And so that's where you have to exercise some patience, you know, and have a core philosophy of what you believe in. And like I said, you know, a lot of the core philosophy, a lot of the base of it all has, has been here. It's established. And again, I just get to come in and, you know, do my part and add to, uh, add to the product. Something that is coming down the pike. Another thing to add to your growing list of things that you have going on right now is players are about to come back in a couple of weeks to Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. How excited are you to have guys back in the building, having them start going through the process of getting ready for another football season. I'm excited. And, you know, a testament to Coach Vrabel, you know, Frank and B-Bell in the weight room. A lot of guys have been back, you know, uh, ahead of time. Guys have been in getting work um, ever since I've been in. You know, average probably about 15 to 20 guys a day. Uh, but when the players are in the building, it's a different juice. It's a different energy. And, you know, it's it's all about them at the end of the day. So, you know, you look forward to that extra juice, just like I look forward to when the area scouts are in the building. They bring a, you know, a different energy because they hadn't been in, and now everybody's getting to see each other and just different juice, uh, different energy. So I'm excited about it. Mike Vrabel's a big relationship guy. You seem to be a big relationship guy. How excited are you to continue building those relationships with the guys that make up this team? Oh, that's kind of what I love to do I kind of you know love to be around the players get to know them uh, get to know them as people you know we have tons of ways to evaluate them as players and you know I really like to get to the core essence of the player so that's what I'm really uh, looking forward to the most and I mean with all your free time who wouldn't be able to do that you only have free agencies still going on the draft is just around the corner I mean why was, not? That's what sure. I was going to say, free time. I don't, I don't <laughs> know <what laughs> Why that not? Is. <laughs> Spend some time just <laughs> getting to know everybody. Um, well, Rand Carthon, thank you so much for taking some time with us. We are excited to continue through the offseason. Oh, yeah. I'm excited, and thank you guys for having me.